Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. So today's Monday, we are filming today. It's probably gonna be a shorter vlog today, but there are some things that are happening today in the house that I wanted to share with you guys. Sean is sleeping, so it's like a good time for me to chat really quick. But we are starting to work on our master bathroom renovation project. And so there's a little bit of work that they're doing today. I'm pretty sure that I shared with you guys, right? That like we were gonna move forward with the renovation. So I didn't think that they were gonna start so quickly, but they are getting right to work. My contractor was like, I'll be at your house like the next week like it's been happening fast last week I went to go look at some tile and I still haven't figured out what materials I want But I'm gonna show you guys like my mood board and kind of show you what my vision is for that room But there was an electrician here and I wanted to take you up there just to show you the bathroom and he installed lights So like one of the things that we're doing in the bathroom is like he put some lights up so we'll go see it I don't wanna like just ramble, we'll just get to it. So I don't know, if you like that kind of like home decor, home renovation stuff, then my channel will hopefully in the next couple of weeks have stuff like that to share with you guys. Um, and then, I don't know, I have like some random things. I have like a Thrive Market order that I got in that I'll show you guys. We'll just do some house stuff, but like quickly. We're not gonna spend the entire day vlogging. So look, my bed is not even made. This room is like a hot mess today. But this is my master bathroom, and this is what it looks like right now because the electrician, he had to go to Home Depot for a minute. But so we have like a starting point of what the bathroom looked like. Like all of this is original from when we bought the house. This is what it looked like. And we always had every intention of fixing it up. We've got this vanity here that in my opinion is just horrendous. So we're gonna be putting a new vanity. And the idea is that we're gonna be putting a double vanity. So we'll get a vanity with double sink even though like those are very expensive. That really wasn't something that I was thinking of doing right away, but we're probably gonna just do it right away and call it a day. And then maybe we'll like remove the mirror. We kind of have to see what it's gonna look like once we get a vanity in here, but we'll maybe keep the mirror, maybe replace it. I also have this light, which we'll end up probably replacing for like a longer one, but that's like this side. Um, of the bathroom we're gonna rip out all of this floor and then put like all new floor into this area here where we have like my hamper and where we have like the toilet so all the floors going and then over here this tub is gonna be ripped out completely we're gonna try to put like a freestanding tub here put all new tile I'm trying to figure out like where I want tile and where I'm just gonna like paint because there's like this window, sorry, the lighting is bad here. The lighting is not the best, but whatever, you, you get the point. Like we've got the window, but there's not, um, there's not like tile all over the window. So that light is new. He just installed that light. So there's gonna be a light right over the new bathtub. So I think that makes the bathroom look brighter and then it'll be nice because when we get the new tub in, like that light is right on top of the tub. And then this whole shower, you guys, thank the Lord gonna be ripped apart because this was like the thing that I probably hated the most about this house when we bought it. The shower is just like really worn down. We're gonna take off all the tile, remove this contraption, get like new fixtures. I'm gonna go for like that goldish kind of like, I don't know what they call it, gold or nickel, I don't know, some kind of new shower head situation and they'll get rid of this ugly white thing. We're gonna put new tile all up on the walls and then new tile on the shower pan. This is what originally broke. This is what was leaking, where they were originally gonna just like replace that, and then they were gonna have to like rip up half of the tile up here. So that was kind of like the catalyst for like, let's just redo the entire bathroom. So all of this is gonna be new, and then we're gonna rip this off, and then put like a glass, you know, like the glass, enclosure kind of thing glass doors so i think it has the potential to look really nice and then you see we've got the new light so that is new from this morning that was not here this morning um but i'm really happy with that and then in the bathroom here he went to home depot because our like what do you call that the the vent the the thing that that is it was broken so he's gonna fix it and then this little ugly light that's here he's gonna put like a like one that's like flush to the ceiling so we're gonna get rid of that. So I'm excited. I think that, again, there's a lot of potential in that bathroom, which is why I liked the house, even though I didn't like the style of that bathroom. Like, it's big, it's spacious. It's not as big as, like, Mimi's bathroom. Mimi's bathroom is, like, gold. It's huge. But for, like, the house that we have, I think we've got a lot of good space. So now we're gonna make it look really nice. So let me show you what I'm thinking for that bathroom. Let me see if I can open up my computer and show you, like, my Pinterest board. Okay, I don't know how well everything's gonna translate here on camera, but this is, like, my Pinterest, like, mood board. Like, the vibe that I am going for in my bathroom is like, I think what they call organic, 
I don't know if it's like earthy organic. I've been typing in things like that, like earthy organic master bath. I want to bring in like a lot of elements of like outdoors into the bathroom. And again, I'm not a I'm not a decorator, so like that's probably not going to make any sense, but I really like tile that looks like this. It's like shiny tile up on the walls with a lot of like the gold or brass or whatever you call that. Like it's not what I would consider glam per se. Like I don't want it looking like super modern. I just want it to look Earthy. We're looking at a lot of the vanities that look like this, like the natural wood colored vanities. Um, that's gonna be like hard to find just because like they're all so expensive. We're gonna do a freestanding tub situation kind of like that. We just have to buy it first. I was just trying to get like some inspo because at first I'm like, I have no idea what I want. This is probably my favorite picture that I have saved and I don't know that I'm ever gonna make my bathroom look as awesome as that. But I like the idea of like the dark floors. Um, I don't know if I'll go that dark, but you see like shiny, creamy, like bright white walls. There's a lot of like wood elements. It's kind of what I want. I want it to feel like very organic for lack of better terms. I really don't know how to explain things, but that's like the vibe. And I hope that maybe that translates a little bit. I've been working really hard lately, whether you know it or not, or whether it shows it or not to like make this house very homey, more like our home. Like now that we've been in the house for like almost a year now. And so it's taken me a bit to figure out like, what is my style? What do I want the feeling to be like here? There's a lot of things that I think look pretty. Like again, like my mom's master bathroom, for those of you guys who have seen it on Instagram and stuff, like her bathroom is beautiful. But do I want that same style in my house? I think it's a little bit too like glam for me or too like white and polished for me. The house when we bought it, I feel like for a long time it's been very cold. And so I'm trying to bring in a lot of the earthy elements to it to like ground it in a sense. So whatever, that's been our task now to find tile and to find like all the things. So we went, my mom and I, we went to like a tile place this weekend. We went to floor and decor. We went, we've been to like a few different places and it's been hard because I have to pick a floor for the bathroom a floor for like inside the shower like the shower pan floor and then like the tile that i'm going to put on the wall so i'm really looking for like three big pieces of stuff like three materials and then plus the bathtub plus the vanity and i suck at all of that so we've been back and forth right now this is kind of what we've landed on i don't know exactly if it'll stay this way but right now what i'm thinking is that we're gonna go for something like this in the shower like in the shower pan like where you step on in the shower I think I'm gonna like that. And then we found these tiles to go up on the wall in the shower. They're like little squares and I don't know how we would like lay them, but I like that they're they're all like different. Um, it's gonna be kind of like a pain. My mom's like, the guy that's installing this is gonna hate you because it's like a lot of little individual tiles, but they're all slightly different, um, like color ring. Like they're not all the exact same color. So when you lay them, it's supposed to kind of give you like a little bit of a different feel, I guess. So I don't know, maybe almost something like that, like how they're all kind of slightly varied. These are obviously rectangles and not squares. Yeah, right now that's kind of where we're at. Um, it may change. I still need to find a floor then for the bathroom that I actually like, like an actual floor. But I think that this might work. And then picture this with like a bunch of gold details plus the wooden vanity like i think that might look pretty so yeah just a little home update like my contractor said tomorrow they're gonna come and start demoing everything so like tomorrow he said he's gonna take stuff to like cover my floor so that it's like my whole floor and like the rest of my house and my stairs doesn't get ruined and they're just gonna start demoing it all which makes me like excited but also very nervous so we'll see how it goes but at least we're getting started hopefully this doesn't take 500,000 years but i'm trying to like just Imagine that at the end of all of this we'll have a nice master bathroom like I love spending time in the bathroom I love me a good bath like at first we were considering taking out the bath completely But I do like a bath and I feel like with this many kids like I need bathtubs to bathe kids in So yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna post this um, So I don't know if you'll have enough time to give me feedback But if there's anything you want to share about designing a bathroom or whatnot let me know it's hard because i start sharing stuff and then everybody's like oh do this do that do this and then i get even more confused so i may just read your comments and i will appreciate the fact that you shared inspo with me but i can't obviously take every single person's you know input on my bathroom like i have to be the one that likes it at the end of the day 
And so I think we're off to a good start, but I think the rest of this week too, like my mom's like, we've got to go back to, um, to another tile place and it's just a lot of work. So that's what's going on in the house. What you doing, little buddy? Just doing something with the magnet tiles? Yeah. What are you creating? It's something cool. Something cool? But you, you can't tell me what it is? Right, let's open up my Thrive Box. Thrive Market order, whatever. Open it up, see what's in here so I can put stuff away. This is when the kids are always like, what did you get? And I don't even think it's anything exciting. I think I ordered like honey. Oh, maybe a few snacks. The Annie's oh. Cheddar Bunny. You like those? Yeah. This is my laundry detergent that I use. We've got Kodiak cake muffin mix. We got a bunch of peanut butter, because I do like their peanut butter. And dude, my kids go through peanut butter like crazy. And I'm starting to give Sean a lot of peanut butter, like inside of the purees that I'm making him. Oh, these I ordered for Sean. These are the Serenity Kids Puffs. I'm excited to give him these, because I've been wanting to feed him like puffs, so he can like work on grabbing stuff and putting it in his mouth. This is another one, broccoli and spinach. He's gonna love that. These are baking cups. Let's see, I got like these unbleached, you know, like the brownish like baking cups for when I make muffins or cupcakes and stuff. Got those, Dijon mustard, Purely Elizabeth. This is my favorite granola. I have so much of it in the like garage because I always have a back stock of it. I got some pancake mix, the birch yeah. fenders that I like. We got tuna because I've been like depleting my tuna stash and I like tuna sandwiches. And a bunch of organic spaghetti for my back stock. All right, so in here we have maybe a few more snacks. We got my favorite popcorn, the gold one, Himalayan gold. Also got the kids some of like the Annie's bunnies, like the gummy bunnies and stuff. This box got smushed though, and so did this one. Normally my boxes don't come smushed, but got some cheddar bunnies. I got organic fusilli, so Thrive Market has a lot of organic pasta, and I feel like a lot of it is at a really good price. The farfalle, just bow tie pasta, more bow tie pasta so I wanted to like replenish my pasta stuff. Got a bunch of like the Annie's snacks, the birthday cake bunnies because, and I got this one too, like the bunny grams because I thought that when we do our Easter like get together we could do like a little Easter trail mix with a lot of these. What else did I get? I got honey. This is the kid's favorite honey so I always get a bunch of like the little honey bears. Another one of the puffs for Sean. More tuna. These we've been eating a lot more often lately. These heavenly hummus. They're just like such a good sweet treat. I actually had some friends over yesterday and they're vegan and like I love them to death but I was like you're coming to my house I don't know what to feed you because you're vegan and I had bought some of these because these are vegan friendly and they love them so I these are always know. a win you like them too Jackson yeah. and then in here just a few more random things I got some olive oil this is more tuna I got tomato paste for my back stock and then just more pasta organic penne pasta I don't know what it means by biodynamic um, but whatever it sounds fancy I got dishwasher detergent a bunch of crushed tomato cans that I like to have and then some pasta sauce tomato basil sauce organic marinara so now I've got the lovely task of putting all of this away Jackson done um i just tried one of these you guys and they are so good for being like a healthier for you muffin i am a fan i actually just printed the recipe because if i never print it then i won't make it again like it'll get lost on my phone and i want to remake these i will leave the recipe down below um so good so yummy do you like it yeah right it's super yummy i'm glad you like them yeah, look at that face. But it didn't use sugar, so I did, what I did is I used a third of a cup of the almond milk, because it tells you milk, or like non-dairy milk. I used almond milk, and I used a third of a cup maple syrup, and a third of a cup of the honey, so I kind of mixed. And I used plain Greek yogurt, and it was delicious. So I'm very happy, that was a success. Sometimes when I make new recipes, it's a fail, and I never make it again. But that one was a hit. So that's what I do when I make a recipe that I really love. I make sure to immediately print it and then I put it in my little recipe book. But Sean is awake, so let's go get him. Okay, sorry, my camera had died, so I had to go get a new camera battery. Hi, buddy! 
He woke up from his nap super happy because he slept for like an hour and 40 minutes and of course something else bit his face like we have mosquitoes in this house you guys and it drives me nuts because they're always biting me and him for some reason like we're the ones that get bit the most and that's not fun but yeah that was a productive nap time i feel like i got a lot of things done i need to take you guys upstairs so you guys can see the stuff that the electrician did but before i go back up i'm gonna feed him and get him happy again little man what do you think about your brother today? <laughs> what? But in other news, you know what was really exciting this weekend? I have a couple things to update you guys on. Um, Riley lost her first tooth, you guys. She is no longer a little baby. You want to show the guys? Yeah, she is missing her tooth, so she lost her bottom tooth. How did that feel, Riley? I didn't like really feel it. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt? And I smiled and looked at it. Yeah. It was so funny. I don't think I told you guys the story here. Um, but the other day at dinner, like I had forgotten that kids lose their teeth. So like the other night at dinner, she started freaking out. She was eating an applesauce pouch. And then I guess like she noticed that one of her teeth was like loose. Like it, it was wiggling and stuff. And she lost her mind. Poor thing. She was so scared. Was like tears streaming down her face. She was like, my tooth is falling out. Like freaking out. And I felt so bad again. Like... It was just not, it was just not a greatest, it was not the greatest moment. <laughs> so we had to calm her down and we're like, it's okay. Like, we've talked to her before about the fact that your teeth fall out, but I guess I wasn't expecting it to happen soon. But then once we reassured her, like, then she calmed down, she was fine. And then it was loose for maybe, like, not even a week. It was loose for, like, three or four days. And then in the middle of the night, like, at three in the morning the other night, she comes into my bed and she's like, my tooth is gone. Luckily, she didn't like swallow it or anything. I guess, what were you doing? You woke up in the middle of the night and then she was just like wiggling it with her tongue and then it popped out. So she brought me her tooth and then the tooth fairy came and gave me $10. <laughs> and gave her $10 because at three in the morning, the tooth fairy didn't have a lot of options probably. <laughs> she gave her $10. So that was like a fun milestone for her and for us. Again, she's my oldest, so it was like a first for us and whatever so riley has lost her first tooth and now i guess we'll have to see when the other ones start falling out all right i brought the kids upstairs so i can show you what the electrician did so all he did was i think i showed you that already right i showed you guys the lights and then over here where the toilet is he got rid of that ugly light and put one of these and replaced the fan so now the fan works and we have one of those so there's Lots of light in here, which is good. And then we've got now two light switches. One of them is gonna turn on the vanity light and the other one's gonna turn on the lights for the shower and the tub. Little man! He likes it when he plays here on the rug. I'm not going downstairs yet. Here, let's see if we put the ball, look. Show him the ball. Look, bonito. He likes this toy. Look at this, look. Wait. This is like an old Love Every toy that I brought out for him, but he knows how to like push it. Or like he tries. Yay, good job! Go! Good job! Go put it in the circle. Where does it go? Goes here. Goes here. We're practicing, we're practicing. He's still little. Good job. Sometimes he actually does it right. So we're trying to work on his coordination skills. Let's see if he'll put it in there. Go, you gotta put it in here. Put it in here, in there. So close, so close, oh, so close. <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah! Good job, what did you do? You're gonna terrify him. Push, now push. Yay! <laughs> okay, I think that's about as much as he's gonna do. Because now he just wants to eat the ball. While we're up here and I remember, I wanted to tell you guys how the um, clothing swap went because I got some new pieces in my closet. It really worked out well. So just a couple of the pieces that I brought home. I brought home this dress, which looks really pretty on. And then what else? I got this skirt, which is also really pretty on. I got a couple tops. I got like this white top. I got this one that's really pretty. Oh, this one also, it's hard for you to tell like what exactly things look like, but I also got this top, which with jeans looks really nice. I also scored this like little jumpsuit thing from Banana. It's like pants, super cute. It had 
like tags and everything so it was brand new I also got like this really pretty like covering thing from Zara so those are like some of the new pieces that I was able to go home with so it was just really fun and I saw like some of you guys in the comments um, wanted to see or like wanted me to update you on how it worked or like how it went and stuff so really quick while I'm here, I was gonna do that. We're talking about a clothing swap. That's what we did. It was so fun. Highly recommend you guys do it with your girlfriends. But my friend hosted it at her house. She had texted a whole bunch of us, was like, clothing swap at my house. Bring maybe five to 10 pieces of clothes that you wanna part with. Um, and then we'll do the swap. So I got there. I was like the first one to get there after my friend, obviously. She had like some light bites, like, you know, muffins and things and juice and coffee. So some light snacks for us which was really nice and then people started arriving and people started bringing their clothes so once almost everyone was there what she did is she had like a big dining room table and like her living room was really big with like you know a couch and dining room table and stuff so what we did is once we had like the space set up my one of my other friends was like i guess really good at organizing things she laid out all of the clothes from all the participants all around the space so what she did was she did like on the table were um shirts and pants and then on one of the other couches was like all the long dresses then there was another section that was like all short dresses so she categorized it by like what kind of piece it was not by size just by like what kind of clothing item it was and then once everybody was there the way that it worked was we went in order of who arrives first. So that was like the rotation that we did in terms of like who picks what first. Like it's not like a free for all. It's not like you walk in there and you look at all the clothes because you want it to be fair for everybody. So since I got there first, basically I got like first dibs. So when it was your turn, so it was my turn for example, I would walk around the room, look at all the clothes that was there and pick a piece. And I would pick a piece, so I would pick a dress or whatever. And then she had like a full length mirror set up in her living room. So I was able to like try it on, check it out. If I liked it, then great. I kept it if not I was able to like pick a different piece so that was like my turn and while I was trying stuff on and stuff sometimes like the next person would go just so that you're not like waiting forever for somebody to like you know figure out what they were gonna take but you kind of did it in that order you would wait for the person in front of you to finish and then you would you know go pick out something sometimes you would try something on and it would fit you great you loved it so it's something you took home sometimes it wouldn't work for you so you're like eh, let me pick something else and it was just so fun because these were all pieces of clothing that either way we we're gonna all donate so like we got to check it out first like before like sending it to a donation place we got to check it out first and there were a lot of really good pieces that people gave away that like one of our friends now has like i gave away a bunch of my maxi dresses like long dresses that just for some reason didn't fit me well and then i saw them like on my friend and i was like wow like you actually look so beautiful in that so i'm so happy like it went to a nice home and then the thing was you weren't telling people right away like whose clothing item was whose the idea was to keep it till the end and then at the end we tried to like guess you know who's like clothing belong to who but while people are trying stuff on you're keeping your mouth shut about like whose it is so like i would watch my friends try on my clothes and sometimes they're like oh this is awesome i love it and sometimes they're like oh this does not look good on me and you know it was my piece of clothing so you couldn't get offended that somebody didn't like your clothes but it was really fun and then at the end like if you if it was your turn and you already looked at all the clothes that was left and you're like no i don't like anything else and you didn't have to keep grabbing something you could have been like okay i'm done i got two or three pieces done um but some people kept going because some people like were still enjoying some of the pieces that were there and then at the end like towards the end when like we had done enough rounds we kind of just told everybody like anything that's left like have at it if there's anything you want to take kind of like a free-for-all situation and then after that like there were still some pieces that nobody liked and then that is what went to the donation center we just packed it up we donated it and then that was it and then like again we each had our piles of stuff that we were taking and then we sat in a circle and then like i held up my like like some of the stuff that i took home with me that i just showed you that black dress i had to guess like which one of my friends it belonged to and then it was just like a nice little bonding moment or sometimes like the pieces had like a cool story behind them and so it was just a really cool bonding experience with my friends and something, you know, sustainable to do, right? We were able to repurpose clothes. Yeah, it was just like a fun excuse to get together with my girlfriends on a Saturday morning. The only thing, like if you're gonna do one, just be mindful that you do wanna have people over, like you want to include people that are like similar in size because like, for example, if I went to a clothing swap and everyone there was a size double zero and then I show up, like I'm not gonna fit into any of the things that are put out there on the tables. So like that's the kind of thing that you gotta, gotta like keep in mind. Like you want at least a few people of like similar sizes 
invited and that attend because otherwise it could be like you know kind of awkward like oh sorry like there's nothing here that fits you but it was super fun so highly recommend that and that is it what are you doing you're trying to get all the toys sometimes like this like i'll just put toys on the floor and he'll play i need to actually make my bed so maybe i'll do that and then we'll go back downstairs oh wait actually look i found i went through a bunch of old clothes of jackson's and i found this hat that used to belong <laughs> to jackson and i'm so happy because now i have a little hat for sean because when we've been going on our like nature hikes and stuff let me see if i can sit him down he, he's always getting burned because i don't have a hat for him but now he can wear this one that used to be Jackson's and it's awesome that's why like I never throw away like I throw away some stuff I donate some stuff but I like to keep a lot of clothes that belongs to the kids because then you can reuse it and I don't have to buy one of these now so I think he looks very cute in it hey bud oh he's like what is this he's about to throw himself backwards Everybody's sitting down to have some lunch, so I was gonna see what Sean thinks about these little puffs. Let's see what he does with them. The little puffs. You used to eat these. You can eat them, Gordo. He's like quite curious about them. <laughs> you can eat them. Hey, look. Let me show you. Oh, just throw it on the floor. Cool. <gasps> look in your mouth. Uh, <laughs> you don't like them? <laughs> I think I remember like one of my kids being like not into them at first. But they're yummy. <laughs> so even though we're doing purees, I'm starting to try to give him some things that are like a little bit more mashed, like different textures. But something like this you should be able to eat because they like just melt in your mouth. But for now it's going to be <laughs> about playing with it and trying to get the coordination of from his hand into his mouth. Oh, did you do it? It's yummy. It's not yucky, it's good. He's gotta figure out how to put it into his mouth. What do you think? <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> good job, Gordo. <laughs> and goodbye. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today's vlog i'm just gonna hear practice with him with his puffs give him some real lunch and get myself some food in my system so a short little vlog just giving you guys a quick update on the house yeah they do have cinnamon in them um so yeah that's the house update i will keep you guys posted like i said tomorrow they're supposed to come and start demo so whatever i can share with you in the next video i will but thanks for hanging out with us today i love your faces and i'll see you guys soon in my next video bye guys